What is up guys, I just want to do this quick video showing you how to use your uh, PS3 controller on your PC if you don't know how. Um, the program is called Motion Motion Enjoy Gamepad Tool and uh, this is what it will look like once it's installed. Um, I'll leave the link to, uh, to get this in the video description. Um, I won't stick an annotation, I can't be asked with all that but but there'll be a link for this in the video description and uh, this is partly the reason why I wanted to show this video is because I managed to get it working on mine um, and I use it for custom zombies which will probably be up later, I did record one um, not so long ago, that'll be up later but I'm not going to talk too much about that. Um, so this is what you want to set as, once you plug your controller in it'll, um, it'll install drivers and then it's something like, um, let me just get this back up. Uh, one sec. It's, uh, it's all going on to different screens right now. Um, let me just bring this over. Um, there's the tutorial video here um, showing you how to do it. And then you can either use a compatible Bluetooth adapter, which means you can pair it and use it wirelessly, or you can use it through the lead, which is what I've got. Um, and uh, so on. So if you go into your pro profiles, it'll pick your controller up here. It will install drivers and say it didn't. In something will say it didn't install correctly or something like that. And uh, what you want to do once it picks it up here, um, you want to go into. I'm sure it was driver manager that I went into, and uh, it was this one here. And then it was load driver. Get your PlayStation controller and USB adapter. Check the device for load in motion joy driver in the following list so you check this one here and then click the load driver button that'll install that then it'll then it'll register as a ps3 controller um because it doesn't come with a with the uh like it won't install the drivers automatically or something um because obviously ps3 has nothing to do with with uh pc whereas xbox controllers is microsoft and uh we all know microsoft is like windows etc um and then what the best layout you want to use for your um when you're using your PS3 controller is the Xbox 360 controller emulator which sets up preset controls basically v pretty much the same as what it would be on a PS3 anyway um, some may be different or stuff like that and uh, once you've got it you want to click enable which will enable the controller and I think you need to leave this open when you're running games um, so it actually picks it up then obviously you can display your battery LEDs which will show all of them which obviously you'll notice work and then you've got custom LEDs if you just want to change that about and uh, I'm actually going to show you mine working. You probably will hear it. You can do a vibration tester. And if it vibrates, you know your controller is working. And if you listen now, you can hear it vibrating on my desk there. I've left it there for this, uh, for this purpose. So you can see mine's all working there. And it's really handy, especially if you can't get used to the keyboard and mouse. And if you're playing driving games and stuff like that, and you like to run games on your PS3, um, on your PC and you want to use a controller that's always that's always handy to have instead of having to buy a new controller etc so uh, it's still vibrating so it still works I hope you find this useful it will be in the down uh, the download link or to the download link will be in the video description so uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button blah 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 all that stuff and uh, leave a comment and let me know if it helped you out and uh, Nazi zombies will be up later so I will I will probably see you in that and uh, cheers for watching